your girl Sneaker K here with my very first video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment. For my first video, this is a Q&A, and these questions are uh, questions that you guys wanted to know. So this is from my Instagram when I had posted that little poll. So we're about to just get into it. So for the first question, how old am I? I am 19 years old. Uh, I was born in 2002, and my birthday is in June. Um, how many tattoos do I have? So I have four tattoos. I have one on my ankle, this one that you can see. I have this one, and then I have a back tattoo. See, I have four tattoos. They all have like a significant meaning to me. I wanted to make sure that when I put tattoos on my body that they actually meant something and kind of told a story. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much, I don't want to get into like the whole story with all of them because it's going to be long. So what made me get into sneakers? So this is kind of this might be a long question. So I've always been really into shoes and I've always been kind of into sneakers just growing up. I always was pretty athletic. So I always had sneakers like I used to wear like elementary school. I had like free runs, Roshi, stuff like that. I never was really into basketball shoes, but what really made me get into it was I actually for my 17th birthday, my 16th birthday, um, it was when the Have a Nike Day collection dropped and I really wanted uh, one of the Air Maxes and I was debating on the Air Max Pluses or the Air Max 97s, the Have a Nike Day collection and I went with the Pluses so that kind of started my collection. I started collecting Air Maxes after that and then um, I got my very first Jordan for Christmas in 2020 and it was the Jordan 12 Dark Concord I got as a gift then after that, it was over. I was wasting my money on shoes all the time. Um, after that, I got bloodlines, and then it was over from there. Then I met Henry in the alleyway outside of Camp's Kicks, and that's when I had got my royal toes, and then over from there. So yeah, that was how I got into sneakers. What is my favorite sport? So this is a good question because there is a favorite sport that I have to play, and there's a favorite sport that I have to watch. So to play is soccer. You guys probably don't know this, but I actually played soccer for about 14 years. Ever since I was four until I was like, I guess I'd be like 12 years, I guess, not 14. But ever since I was four until I was 16, I quit my 10th grade year of high school. So yeah, to play was soccer, definitely. And then to watch is football. I am a diehard Ravens fan, you know, flogging all the way. Um, so yeah, Ravens. I like to watch football. That's my favorite sport to watch. What is the most you've ever spent on a sneaker for yourself? So, the most I've ever spent on a sneaker for myself was the University Blue Jordan 1s. I got them from Cam, and I spent, I think, 380 And we're going to look on StockX to see what they go for right now. So, I spent 380 and in my size... So, in my size, they go for, right now, about... Lowest ask is 330 so a little bit less than what I paid, and of course they're used now, but yeah, so I spent 380 on the University Blue Jordan ones. That's my most expensive sneaker in my collection. What is your favorite place to eat? So it's always kind of been um, the Cheesecake Factory, which is where I actually had my, like, my birthday dinner and everything, but I do have a newfound restaurant, and it's called Crafty Crab. I don't know if... I think it's all over the United States, but it's primarily like in Maryland is where I go all the time. If you are in the Maryland area, you need to get Crafty Crab if you like seafood. It's the best seafood that I've ever had. How many piercings do you have? So I have 14 piercings, and actually one just fell out, and it was right up here. I haven't put it back in yet, but yeah, I have 14 piercings. Most regretful shoe purchase in regards to reselling. So... I've, I've made a few purchases that weren't the smartest, but that happens to all of us. I think we accidentally buy bricks not knowing what they're going to go for. Um, mine was, I think, the, the Space Jam Air Forces. I got two grade school pairs in my size in 4Y, and they, like, plummeted. Like, they did terrible. I still made my money back, at least. I sold them for retail, but, yeah, that was probably the worst because I sold them for a while, and had I, I had no idea what I was going to do. Um, so, yeah, those. Did I leave Cam's Kicks? Hmm. Did I? No. Okay, so I technically was never really an employee there. Like, I never was fully hired. Like, I really only was there whenever they needed help. So, like, let's say Henry or Ronnie wanted a day off. Because, let me tell you, they put in work. You guys just see the YouTube. You just see all the fun and games. But they put in work. They put in a lot of hard work. After hours, everything. Like, 
they do it all. So, you know, they want breaks sometimes. So whenever they would want a day off or whatever, I would go in and I would help out and I would get paid for it. But that doesn't mean I was a real employee. Like, of course, I would go to them to sneaker shows and stuff like that. But I never was really an employee. You know, I was just there, you know, to kind of help out. So, no, I didn't leave. I still love everybody there. I'm still there sometimes. I'm kind of busy. But, yeah, no, I never left. Um, this is kind of a question that has to do with that a little bit, but somebody asked, what is your least favorite thing about working at Camp Skick? So again, I technically don't work there, but well, let's just say in this case that I did, or I do. Um, I'd say my least favorite thing is, I'm going to get a little deep on you guys, but um, I'd say, like, not necessarily the hate, because obviously that comes with everything, but I think, like, how my body and me as a, as a woman is sexualized and I feel like that happens a lot it happens pretty much to everybody but I just feel like some of the comments some of the things that you guys say is just like really like that's disgusting but yeah I think that's one of the biggest things is just like I don't understand why why some of the things are said but you know what I'm vibing I'm living be cool over here so next question do you have merch so I don't have merch and I don't know if I plan on having merch just because I feel like eh, that's kind of, I don't know. Maybe one day I might have merch, but I do plan on having my own clothing brand. Um, so I don't, I haven't planned anything out yet. I just do foresee that in my future. So stay tuned. I might have a clothing brand in the near future. Do you have any kids? So I don't know where this question came from. I think I actually, I might. Because like the very first Camps Kicks video I was in, how it was edited or how I said it, it just made it seem like I said I have three kids. But I was actually talking about my nannying job. Those three girls, I love them to death. But no, they are not my kids. I also do have a goddaughter that I post all the time. Her name's Brooklyn. I love her to death. But I do not have any kids of my own. So I don't know where you guys got that from. I'm only 19. That's a little... I I'm not right now. Maybe in the future, but not right now. So no, I don't have any kids. Ooh, this is a juicy question. Are you ready for this one? So, were me and Henry ever a thing? Is this a real question? Like, were, were y'all serious about this one? Because, no, we were never a thing. Um, I always said this, like, even when I first started at Camp's Kicks, like, I was like, guys, like, I'm not here for a relationship. I'm not here, like, on any type time with any of them there. Like, those are my coworkers. It's strictly business when I'm with them. You know, we always have fun. We always hang out. You know, they're like my brothers now. But um, I made sure, I made it clear that, like, I was never on that tight time with any of them. So, yeah, me and Henry were never a thing. That's like my brother. We're like this. Um, it's a bond that can never be broken. But, uh, yeah, we, are, we were never a thing. No thank you. No offense, Henry. And then, okay, last question. Last question. Team Dallas or Team York? You know I'm Team York all the way. What? No, I'm just playing. But uh, yes, of course, Team York. I don't even know if that's really going to be a thing, like Team York or Team Dallas. But it's a question, so we might as well answer it. Um, yes, I'm Team York all the way. But I, I'm really proud of Cam, and I'm really proud of the things that he's doing. And I hope that the Dallas store does amazing. And right now, when I'm filming this video, it's October 25th. And the grand opening is November 13th. So, um... It's coming up pretty soon, so Cam, if you're watching this, I'm so proud of you, and I hope for the best in Dallas. I know it's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. Um, so, yeah, I think that's it for all my questions. Um, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and comment, and make sure you comment down below what you want to see next. You know, I need some ideas, you know, what the viewers want to see. Um, this was kind of like a, a short little video just to get started, a Q&A for you guys, because I knew you guys had some questions. Um, so yeah, just make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and turn on that bell so you know when I post, obviously. So yeah, I don't know when you guys are watching this, but it's nighttime here, so have a good night, guys.